I think it's a stain, Aunt Lydia. You're in You lied. You gave yourself a new life, a new name, and you thought that you could just leave all of the shit you did behind. Why the f do you think you deserve forgiveness? Are June and Aunt Lydia the same? To unpack this big question, I have the help of Ever Carradine, who plays Gilead wife Naomi Putnam, and Max Minghella, the mysterious and magnetic Nick. How does it feel to be called magnetic? Um, I assume my mother paid you to say <laughs> It's very fitting. It's extremely fitting. So I'll start with you, Max. Mm. To what degree now are you seeing June and Lydia sort of becoming the same? I'll be honest, I'm slightly flummoxed by the question. <laughs> um, I mean, I see June as a very heroic character. Okay. And Aunt Lydia, less so. Yes. Um, although I guess it does insinuate that Aunt Lydia might find her moral compass Right, and, and I think Lydia sees herself as a hero in her own mind, right? I think it's mm. sort of self-heroism or however she sees the work that she does with the handmaids as a daily, you know, act of heroism. And obviously it's very subjective. We all do, right? That's what's so interesting right. about the show is like nobody thinks they're a bad person. <laughs> right, right. And that's what makes it all so murky when we talk about the morality because, you know, Fred is just exacting the will of Gilead and Serena is just following his lead. Well, the thing that I think is interesting, like just watching sort of the build of the seasons is the collective effect that Gilead is having on everybody's right. soul and person. It's weighing on everyone. Everyone, and right. it's weighing on everybody in a, in a different way, but it feels like it may be weighing on June and mm -hmm. Aunt Lydia in a similar way. So we've seen both Lydia and June exact their rage on ants. How do you see the rage that, that June feels and that Lydia feels, how do they use their rage in different ways to hurt people? And do you see them as being the same in that respect? And I, in that way, I sort of do. Yeah, well, and also, I mean, you're connected in rage because you can't control it, right? right? So those are those moments where those two people who are so usually in control kind of right. lose it. But and that's a great point, and sorry to interrupt, that we do seem to see that happening now where it's literally boiling over in both of them. Right. June is, her rage is coming out to make her, herself feel better, I think, mm. emotionally. And I think like that- Like self-care in a way. Yeah. She's finally think, allowing herself to be angry. Uh, well, because she's finally allowed to be angry. Right, right. And I think Aunt Lydia is just angry that she's losing control mm. and she's sort of using her old tricks to to show her power and, and none of them are working. They're just making her look weak. What's interesting about June this season in terms of this kind of relationship to Lydia is that She's no longer being diplomatic, hmm. especially That's a great point. in mm -hmm. this episode. We're starting to see her kind of move away from like, let's talk this out and right. find a harmonious solution. Right, into harmony something is, is no longer an option. M yeah, m much more driven by anger, right? Right. I'm really rooting for June's rage. Like, I want her to let it out, but right. every time that Aunt Lydia does it, I'm like, no, just take a deep breath. We are Aunt Lydia. Like, you know, right. gain some control. And she just, it's like those little, you know, where you put your finger in the thing and the harder right. you pull, the harder it gets. And I feel like none of the rage and none of the revenge is making her feel better. Not with Janine, which is, I right. think, why she is kind to her. Another theme that's come up for me a lot this season is the idea of victimhood. And how much do we see Lydia and June as both being victims of Gilead? I don't see either of them as victims. Really? Because, this, I mean, maybe it's because I- Or byproducts, maybe? They're, yeah, they're, maybe, maybe it's my association word. with that word, right? Right. Like I sort of, I associate with that somebody who's sort of, um, there's so much power to these two women, right? There's so much strength to them. I'd argue they're probably the two most formidable characters in the show. It's, right. So I, it's hard for me to sort of think about them in that context. So June and Lydia, for all intents and purposes, are separated by a physical border now. They mm -hmm. are in different countries. Are they still adversaries? Are they still fighting despite their distance? I mean, I think that they're probably f uh, fighting the wounds that they inflicted on mm. one another. And I guess a lot of that is gonna end up on Janine's shoulders. Right, right, because, which is unfair to Janine. Right, but then Aunt Lydia 
it tells Janine that she that June left her. So she's trying right. to get Janine sort of on her side. And I don't think Janine really takes sides. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Janine. She's, you know, she's my girl. Um, but are they are they at odds with each other? I mean, I think that you're also at odds as someone who's sort of always on your mind. And right, I it's think almost like the specter of June. Exactly. I think it's sort of June becomes um, almost mythologized in Lydia's mind. Right, and neither one of them, Aunt Lydia and J they can't let each other go. It's like, right. I just can't quit you, you <laughs> they know? They just can't <laughs> quit each other. They need to just surrender and move on, but they, but they can't. I, well, I just feel like she has this very imbalanced um, ob sort of obsession of June. Mm. It feels like from day one. Yeah. Yeah, but especially now, it's especially like now. you should let you need to let this go. What, what is what is this hang up that she has that's so deep rooted? Finally, do we think that June and Lydia can ever possibly lead normal lives after this? I think Gilead gives people permission to sort of um, ignite the fire of their worst self, and it's mm. sort of hard to to put that back. You know, I think that right. I don't think that deep down Aunt Lydia was a great person. I think deep down there was a lot of rage and then she finally had permission to sort of right. be that way. Right. June, in a way, then has to be able to heal, which at this point we have not seen her have the time nor opportunity to actually engage in. I don't which... think she wants to either. I think she's like, she's not, she's not there yet. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here. This has given us a lot to think about and, and many more burning questions to try to answer for ourselves. So thank you for your great work and thank for joining you. us thank today. You. Thank, thank you. you. So what do you think? Lydia and June, are they different? Are they the same? Give us your take using the hashtag OneBurningQuestion. <laughs>